What's up everybody? It's another great day because it's another ICU video. Today we'll be talking about sedation in the ICU. All right, so the sedation agents that are used in the ICU, the two main ones to calm uh, and relieve anxiety in patients, the two most common is midazolam and propofol. So we'll start with midab midazolam. It's a benzodiazepine. It's commonly known as Versed. It's rapid onset, highly lipophilic. Onset is within one to two minutes. The half life is one to two hours. So to continue the sedation, it's either given as it's given as an, a continuous IV solution. The reason midazolam is limited uh, use to forty eight hours is because the drug is not rapidly cleared. It's rapidly taken up by tissue, so it accumulates over time, and it can prolong sedation, especially in renal failure patients. The other benzo that we use is lorazepam, also known as Ativan. It can last up to six hours after one single dose, so it's longer acting than midazolam. It is more versatile in that it can be given as intravenous injection or intravenous infusion. The one caveat, though, to lorazepam is that to increase its solubility in the plasma, propylene glycol is added into the solution, and this compound over time can cause a toxidrome of hypotension, delirium with hallucination, uh, metabolic acidosis, which in turn becomes lactic acidosis. So that, that's why there's a cap of bolus and continuous infusions when you look at the dosing. Overall, for the benefits of benzos are they have an anti-grade amniestic effect, which is beneficial in preventing people from forming painful, scary, stressful memories in the ICU. It has anticonvulsant effects, and it's the medication. Benzos are the medication of choice for a treatment of various withdrawal syndromes. The downside, however, is that it causes delirium. Like benzos, propofol, you may hear it as Deprivan, also acts on GABA, but different receptors in the benzos. It has sedative and amniestic effects without the analgesic effects. It's a rapid offset, allows patients to undergo rapid arousal from sedation. Because it has a larger risk of respiratory depression, infusions are recommended in, ventilation pa in ventilated patients. It has vasodilatory effects, causing hypotension, elevated triglycerides, and patients can have green urine. That's a harmless um, byproduct, essentially, of the excreted metabolites. It's tough to catch in time, but you do need to be aware of propofol infusion syndrome. It's very rapid decline, characterized by bradycardic heart failure, rhabdo, renal failure, and lactic acidosis. It occurs with prolonged high-dose use of propofol. Then we have our alpha-2 receptor agonist, Presidex. It has sedative, amniestic, and mild analgesic effects without compromising respiratory rate. It produces something called a cooperative sedation, meaning that patients are still arousable despite deep sedation. When patient is awake, they're able to follow commands similar to temporary awakening from sleep. It's recommended for the treatment of ICU delirium over benzos, and because it has a simple sympatholytic effect. It causes dose-dependent decreases in blood pressure, heart rate, and circulating norepinephrine levels. You want to avoid in those with underlying cardiac conduction defects or heart failure. And then the last sedation agent is haloperidol, also known as Haldol. It's a first-generation antipsychotic agent that can treat delirium and agitation. It blocks dopamine receptors in the central nervous system. The adverse effects are extrapyramidal reactions, which is rigidity, spasmodic movements. It's rarely seen with IV use, but it's worth mentioning. And then neuro neuroleptic malignant syndrome presents as hyperpyrexia, severe muscle rigidity, rhabdo, and last but not least, prolongation of QT, which can propagate ventricular tachycardia, such as uh, torsades de point. So there you have it. Those are the sedation agents, benzos, midazolam and lorazepam, propofol, presidex, and haldol. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions, please reach out. And thank you all so much for your time.